mum because she loves glitter. The woman's 60 years old and she loves glitter. So. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm doing a lipstick haul and I don't know what is actually considered a lipstick haul but usually um, I would go and buy maybe one or two lipsticks in a month so for me this is a haul. Um, I have three, six, eight lipsticks to show you so I don't usually spend that much on lipsticks but I've gone crazy and the reason I've gone crazy is because I'm still waiting on my lovely packages from the States. That's all my husband's fault, I blame him. Here's a quick update of what's been going on. Um, I did purchase the Hydrate In um, Shape Tape Foundation. I've decided I won't be doing a review on it for the simple fact is I feel it doesn't sit right with me if I'm going to sit here and talk trash about the brand um, who can't be bothered to come up with enough shades for people of colour um, and then go ahead and do a review on the foundation. That to me doesn't sit right so I feel like I'm doing the right thing by just not doing a review on that and carry on. I'm not saying I'm going to be washing my hands from Tarte, I'm sure I'll be purchasing other things from them for the foundation. I won't be doing a review on that. I just can't see myself doing something like that. So, so this is a haul. I've got a f um, mostly drugstore um, lipsticks and a couple of high end and um, I'll try them on for you and swatch them and just see how we go with that. Some are glosses, some are lip toppers and some are just regular liquid lipsticks. So the first one I want to talk to you about is a brand Lottie London. Um, I'm not sure if you can get Lottie London in the States. Over here it's quite a popular brand and she introduced duochrome lipsticks. So I got the shade Twist which is this one here a nice pinky colour and then this one was a um, long wear matte lipstick but it's a metallic finish so I'll just start with those two first so here is the shook colour right there so it's quite a sheer like it's not a really highly pigmented one but it's a nice colour and then the duochrome one I'm going to show you is called Twist and they had quite a few variety of shades in this one this is more like a pinky peach duochrome so that's that one there so that's the Lottie London ones and I'll be trying these on for you in a second then we have two bare mineral lipsticks these babies are gorgeous the formula, whatever they've used in the formula, it's amazing. It feels so soft on the lips. Liquid matte lipsticks are great because they stay on, but after a few hours, you have to really know what you're doing when you're introducing a liquid lipstick because even some high-end ones just crack and dry your lips out within a few hours, and I can't stand that feeling. And then you get like the white, the, um, the patch right here. So these are matte, but I find the formula is so good, really good. I cannot recommend these enough. And the colours are gorgeous too. I got Hemp, and these are both matte, and X, Y, and Z. So this one is Hemp. Gorgeous nude. So that's that one there. As I, as I try them on, I'll put each name underneath which one. And this one is XYZ. I love this one because this is the perfect like coffee brown for me when I apply it on my lips. It's just slightly darker. And that is the last one here. Which you can see. So I've never purchased bare mineral lipsticks before. I'm glad I found these. They're great, really good. This brand is quite new for me to hear about. It's Incredible or Incredible. Um, I saw the lady who, uh, I think she either did a collaboration with them or it's just her brand, I'm not sure. But I think um, these lipsticks are really, really nice. She come out with so many different finishes. This one is again a metallic finish and this is in the shade My Dirty Brain. So very... Um, unusual names and you can see 
the metallic finish in that in the lipstick and then the next one is a peachy pink again because I just love peachy pink colours and this one's called Never Peachless that one there that's going to look so nice on so yeah um, so my dirty brain is a metallic Never Peachless is like another duochrome sheer glossy lipstick and then the last one is a glaze like a, an intense lip glaze and this one's called Weekend which is that one there and I've tried all these lipsticks out and they're very very good so this is why I did this video today just so I can share with you my new finds and if you can get yourself some I recommend them um, and then the last one was a topper so I was slightly disappointed with this one just because I find it a very drying topper if you don't work with it correctly it can look a bit crazy on the lips and it's by a brand called Models Own and the colour I got was this one is in the colour Celestial and it's a chrome lip topper so some lip toppers are not the best you have to be careful even my beauty bakery that's not the best one but I still think it performs better than this one but the colour is gorgeous and you can work with it if you use it correctly and um, so I'll swatch the I'll swatch the ink credible ones so the first one is a glaze and it's in the shade weekend so it's like a really nice high shine very similar colors to what I choose a lot right there so it's, a, it's not sheer then we have never peachless I can't wait to wear this one in the summer this is going to be such a big hit and that's just like a, a sheer gloss with some sparkle in it so it reminds me of the Lottie London but it's more definitely more peachier if you can see that gorgeous okay and then the last one from incredible was the metallic one which was my dirty brain and I'll swatch that next to I'm Pe never peachless I'll say coppery pink metallic if you can see that this one is almost the same as the NYX cosmic metals lip cream in the shade speed of light okay so this one and this one are very similar I already had this one by NYX so when I received the incredible one foiling around metallic lip paint in my dirty brain I was like hmm that looks very similar to my NYX one so let's test it out right now here is the uh, incredible one right there the NYX one definitely has a thicker consistency I'm gonna put that oh yeah it's definitely a lot thicker so I've probably more pigmented than the um, uh, the incredible one you do tend to find you get very similar colors if you're a lipstick fiend like me so let's get these babies on and I'll try them on and I'll just link each one below and see how they look on the lips so the first one we're trying is the Lottie London Slay All Day and it's in the color Shook so it dries down very quickly the next one is again Lottie London and this is in twist the duo chrome feels very slidey on the lips but it's beautiful look at that color mmm so that's nice next is the bare minerals I'm gonna try next and the first one is hemp A really really comfortable universal shade 
Next one is XYZ by Bare Minerals. Why has no one told me about Bare Mineral lipsticks? They feel amazing. They feel amazing on the lips. They're beautiful. Slightly darker than the last Bare Mineral one. But yeah. Next one is the Incredible Lip Glaze in the colour Weekend. So this is more of a glossy lip. So if you like glossy lips, this formula would work for you. Next one is Never Peachless. I love it. That is nice. And there is Never Peachless. Gorgeous colour. The only thing I will say is that the applicator is a little bit stiff to work with. But it's not impossible. It'll still go on and apply. But it's just not as soft as um, previous ones that I've tried. So beautiful colour. The last of the incredible one is the... Metallic finish, my dirty brain. Are we ready, people? My camera is obviously not ready. I would personally give that a second coat. Some foiled lipsticks or metallic lipsticks I'm not a big fan of, but some. This is a nice one, it's not too bad. Maybe not my favourite. Oh, it dries very quickly. Mm. My dirty brain. Okay, I'll be back. This does not want to budge off my lips, so I'm going to have to try and use some elbow grease and get this baby off. Right, so the only lipstick I have found to, to test the lip topper out, I don't have a lot of pink matte lipsticks or pink cream lipsticks. Hmm. What have I started? So I've got this lip lingerie one, NYX um, lip lingerie, and this is in the shade Baby Doll, and it's like a slight pinky nude. So I'm going to put this on first. My lips are looking beat up. Right, so I haven't tried a lip topper over the NYX. I did like this lipstick. So this is the model's own chrome lip topper in the color celestial and like i said i wasn't completely impressed with the formula of it but it you can still work with it and make it look nice on something nothing is ever a waste unless you a hundred percent don't like it it's staying in my drawer so what i do is put a light i put quite a lot of product on it because you need to have enough to play around with and then I'll stick it in the centre, like so. <laughs> we'll get closer. Stick it in the centre and just... So yeah, it's not... On top of the next, it's not performing the best. I don't think that I would have this as a topper for all over the lips if my lips feel like proper cement right now hmm. a little bit unicorny come on now how old am i i don't think i can pull look at that it's too glittery <laughs> so maybe for a halloween party I would wear that. You know who would love this? My mum, because she loves glitter. The woman's 60 years old and she loves glitter. So that's where I get my makeup passion from. So this is slightly too much. But is it too much though? It is glittery. Well, if you don't mind your lips feeling very heavy, very dry, 
and you, you're only going to be wearing it for a couple of hours at a special party Halloween not sure um, probably you might want to give this one a miss the, the, the formula is not the best but I still like it I reckon I could I could put maybe a different lipstick underneath it and it will still work with something and just maybe um, use, your, use your finger and just dab it in the center just to be extra on just on the center of the lips instead of all over the lip because yeah that is that is quite a lot it's a bit much it's a bit much for some people but I'm not some people so guys thank you for stopping by thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed the video that is my haul I'm very impressed with them. I'm happy with what I chose. 99.9% .9 happy. The model zone is the only one which you probably will have an issue with because it's so drying on the lips. I've took it off now and I've finished off wearing um, Lottie London um, Twist, which is like just a nice, subtle, sheeny lipstick. So, um, anyway, so. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Please give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I'll be back soon with another video. Take care.